Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't vlogged forever and actually it has been a long long time since I picked up my camera. At the beginning of January I actually was gonna vlog but then I brought my camera into my car and I realised that I didn't put my memory card in. My memory card was still in my laptop. So then I left my camera in my uh, glove box and it's been in there ever since and it's been like three weeks now and yeah I just really wanted to vlog have a bit of a catch up I've actually done a lot of things in January and I look back and I'm just like how come I didn't vlog it I did take like little pictures and uh, little videos and um, footage here and there um, so let me add uh, update you guys on what's been happening let's have a little catch up um, so basically I went home for Christmas then I came back just before New Year's so me and Aiden uh, had to get the train with coffee uh, because I didn't have um, because I didn't take my car up north um, and a lot of people were wondering how I got up there and this is another update as well this is something that I've not talked about on my channel before mentioned it on Instagram but I haven't talked about it on my channel I do have a new boyfriend and he kindly offered to not only take me and Aiden and coffee up to my parents but he also stayed for Christmas as well um, which was really nice of him because like he didn't have to could have easily have got on the train and yeah I felt a bit bad because it meant that he couldn't spend Christmas with his family but oh well and that's just how it happened in then so we got the train back for New Year's Aiden spent New Year's with his dad's side which was all cool uh, that was nice for him and then he went to see Frozen on New Year's Day like the theatre with his um, family side and um, so since then I've been decluttering, I've been decluttering a lot. Um, I feel like I wanted to declutter in December before the new year starts but because of the whole car situation and other things that were going on like my brain just wasn't there. I wasn't in the mood to tidy anything, declutter anything. So now I'm decluttering in time for Chinese New Year which is on the February the 1st this year which is actually really soon it's only like just over a week away so it's like that's come around so quickly normally January is quite slow but I feel like this year it's just like where has it gone it's like completely flown by um so in January I also took Aiden to see the monster truck Hot Wheels live at the year two that was really cool it was part of his Christmas present I booked it in October um and it's just me and him then I told my friend about it and then she decided to book tickets for her son as well so they came along and then we went to have a nice hot pot in DO2 afterwards um, so that was like the first week of January when we were back and then what have I, what have, I've got so much like video footage of random things that I wanted to put into the vlogs but yeah oh um, I went to Columbia flower market a couple of weeks ago that was really nice because I haven't been there in years and it was actually a lot more quiet than I expected um, I think it's because of the whole COVID situation um, and people were really respectful like nobody was like bumping shoulder to shoulder like it was before um, people were wearing masks and it was just a really nice experience compared to the last time I went last time I went it was so busy it was in the summer everybody was shoulder to shoulder and yeah that's probably why I didn't go back because it was just I just thought it's too busy um, but I heard that it wasn't that busy and also there's crowd control as well um, so there are people like just walking around and then we went to Shoreditch um, Brooklyn to eat lots of yummy foods um, yeah we we love going out and eating it's kind of like our thing to try new places to eat and what else have I been up to? Mm, I've done a, a project. I've been trying to keep on top of emails. It's been really hard because I've had so many different things going on. The stuff going on at Aiden School. Actually, having just said that, like there's so many like tabs open in my brain. I feel like I can't keep up. Now that I've just said there's so many things going on at Aiden School, I've just realised that. A couple of days I was talking to somebody in the office and there's a project going on in his class and I actually need to sign up and pay for it 
which is happening next month so when I get home I need to do that January is also when I do my tax return as well and <coughs> honestly I'm getting choked up just talking about it all and I find that I think it's because I've got a new boyfriend now it's really hard to balance everything so during the weekdays I'm doing ed and school stuff trying to do my own stuff then on the weekdays which is when I normally clean tidy see friends or chill out I now have a boyfriend so I have to make time for him as well we're normally out all day so then on Monday that's become my days of cleaning doing laundry getting stuff done kind of stuff which would have been on a Sunday but obviously not on a Sunday I'm now not free um, so I feel like yeah it's just quite a lot going on and January has just flown by and I need to go get my hair turned it's starting to look a little bit yellow I still use my purple shampoo so it's still pretty ashy but it's not as ash ashy as it could be or uh, what it used to be um, today I've got a hat on I don't know why I just really like the look of having a hat on with a hoodie and then a casual jacket um, I've just come out to go to the bank um, and buy a couple of things so that's going to take up most of my morning and <clears throat> this morning I feel this eye tutorial my voice yeah my body hasn't been that great as well I've been having like really bad sore throats I thought I had tonsillitis but I realised it's probably just the weather and I've been doing uh, lateral flow tests um, every time I feel something or just in general when I'm going to see somebody I'm going out and it's always been negative so that's quite um, reassuring um, that nothing's going on because you know Aiden's back at school so there is a higher chance of catching COVID and in the UK masks are now not need to be worn it's not mandatory so a lot of people are not wearing masks anymore and yeah so I'm just glad that I take my own precautions and I'm careful myself and you know touch wood and um, nothing's happened to me in Eden um, so far um, yeah but as I was saying what, what was I saying oh yeah this morning before I whilst I was getting ready I actually filmed the whole makeup tutorial on this eye look then my phone crashed and it just disappeared and I was just like what the f <laughs> like oh my god like I hate when that happens you spend like even though you guys only see like a 30 second clip on Instagram or on TikTok or on Facebook whatever I post it it might be like 20 to 30 seconds sometimes maybe up to one minute it actually took me like an hour to two hours to film that 20 second little bit it's because I like take my time and make sure it's in focus make sure the lighting's right and then I cut it down to 20 or 30 seconds just so that you guys can get the gist and the message of the eye makeup tutorial you don't really need to see me do it all in detail really you just need to see the key points of what I'm doing um, yeah so it takes an amount of time same with my hair tutorials my hair tutorials are like 40 seconds long normally uh, between 30 and 40 seconds long but it actually took me like over an hour to <laughs> sit there and section my hair, style it, clamp it and I feel like when I'm doing a tutorial or a video I need to do it extra slowly and extra carefully just so it comes out extra like beautiful like if you get what I mean um, so yeah that's just my update on life guys yeah I do have a new boyfriend that so many of you guys have been asking on Instagram I did post a few pictures on my Instagram stories and questions and answers and so those of you who follow me on Instagram probably know but if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to watch my YouTube videos then you probably have no idea but yeah so that's what's been keeping me busy really um, it is still early days so you know everything's still quite new so I'm not going to talk about it too much or I actually already said that I do want to keep it private I don't mind like Oh, I don't even know. I don't mind. I don't mind mentioning him. I'm not gonna hide the fact that I have a boyfriend, but I'm not gonna purposely like put him on my socials if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my update. Um, yeah, and I think I should get going now because I've been talking for like ten minutes. Um, yeah, I'll. 
put a little footage of what I have on my phone and then yeah tonight when I get home we'll actually go have to go pick up Aiden from school first so I have like two hours to do what I need to do like run my errands pick up Aiden and one tonight I have a, a virtual event with Joe Malone so basically for Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year um, they're doing a virtual cook along with um, a chef um, I can't remember her name from the top of my head but she owns I think it's one of the restaurants in London I can't remember I'll update you guys when I get home and I've got all the information but we're gonna be making dumplings and yeah I've got a lot of um, Lunar New Year collections coming so Clinique, um, SD Lauder, Germalon, I've got biscuits from Biscuitiers so I'll show you that when I get home if you follow me on Instagram you might have already seen but for those just in case I'll just do a really quick overview of the things that I've received um, for Chinese New Year so yeah I'll see you guys soon <laughs> Just at home now, picked up Aiden from school. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cook Aiden some dinner, and then after he's had his dinner, we've had like I'm gonna have a little bit, not too much, because I've got my cooking workshop with Jo Malone, and um, so I'm gonna be eating dumplings as well. So um, yeah, that's gonna last an hour. So yeah, there's a TV in the background, by the way. Sorry, <laughs> it's a bit loud. Um, Aiden's just watching TV. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. It's gonna be a nice long night because <laughs> after when it finishes at seven that's when i will have to get in and bathed and ready for bed oh my god forgot to buy bubble bath today i actually went out to buy bubble bath as well it was one of the things on my list that i needed to buy and i just haven't bought it <laughs> i bought everything else but not the bubble bath um yeah so like i said i would i'm going to show you the um luna new year goodies that has come through in my mailbox um i was testing out some eyeliners and boots and i've been home i've washed the dishes washed my hands a few times because i've been to the toilet and honestly these eyeliners these are from nyx these are the colored eyeliners they are not budging they will not budge um and that was like hours ago as well so biscuitiers sent me some lunar new year um biscuits so cute how cute are these um i don't know when i should eat them do i save them for luna new year or do i let Aiden eat them now i don't know it depends if he wants to eat them or not he hasn't asked for them so <laughs> i've just kept them um on the kitchen countertop in their clinique um have their Luna New Year stuff. The packaging is so cute. They always do really cute stuff. And last year it was the same packaging but a different animal. And this year obviously it's a tiger. What do you want to get? Okay, one second. Um, Mummy's just trying to get this out of the box. Can you help me? Come and pull this out of the box. Thank you. Um, that, yeah, it's something from Harry Potter, the flying ball. The flying ball? Oh yeah, it does. You're right. But it's um, a little tiger. Look, it goes, if you take this lid off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you put this on here. Look, it's a little tiger. That's cute, isn't it? That's um, from Clinique. They also gave me a highlighter. Um, a tiger highlighter. Evan, can you help me get that tiger highlighter? The round thing on the floor. It looks gold. And it's got a red bottom. Yeah. Not that one. The other one next to it. Yeah. yeah. Thank Whoa. you. It's cute, isn't it? It's um, it's got a tiger on. This I used today actually. It is so cute. Let me show you. Um, this isn't doing it justice. It looks much better in natural daylight, but it's basically a. Oh, focus. There we. Are. Uh, no, it's not focusing. Uh, there we go. So basically, it's a tiger highlighter. Look how cool that is. It's really pretty as well and shimmery. Yeah, come on then. What do you want to get? This was the dramatically different moisturising lotion. And this is the dark spot corrector. Hi, baby. What you got? Baby, yeah, I've got my shirt and Okay. 
Um, yeah, so that's the Clinique stuff. Um, I actually got sent a couple of... Um, I'm actually going to paint my walls soon. I'm going to paint my whole entire flat, which is um, what I've been cleaning and decluttering. Because I want to get rid of stuff first and then, you know, start moving stuff around. Um, this is not Fort Lunar New Year, but I was sent two perfumes from Erin. Never tried any of their perfumes, but I've heard so many good things about these um, perfumes. Um, they kindly sent over two. And then SD Lauder uh, sent me that Lunar New Year collection as well. And I just love how these brands are really embracing the Chinese New Year and come up with these collections it's so cool um so basically this is the eye cream um it's got a red packaging of course it wouldn't be a lunar new year collection without red packaging and then there's the advanced night repair serum um i actually have quite a few of these and um, look at this packaging it's got a tiger on how cool is that that is really cool um yeah i'm looking forward to trying it. made one of my favorite Chinese desserts last night. It's um, bean curd sheets with kernels and egg whites. Oh, this is so good. Had it last night and I'm having it again tonight. Um, I just literally just got out the menu for the Jermalone event. Um, so the chef is Judy Ju and we're going to be making seven to eight dumplings. All my ingredients are still in the fridge. Um, they kindly sent over all the ingredients along with some candle and fragrance. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing tonight. Ingredients out there's mince um, beef and mince pork. And then these are, what are these? Oh yeah, you can help me, Aiden. Of course you can. Yeah, I remember. But it's not started yet, is it? Eat your dinner and then when you finish your dinner, it'll be about time. Um, we have one spring onion, finely chopped. Um, yeah, I've just cooked it in his dinner, so by the time he finishes his dinner, he can help me make this. Um, it would be nice to do it together. Ginger, garlic, salt, soy sauce, and then the dumpling skins. And it all came in this really cute lunch bag. It was like hand-delivered. It was a hand-delivery, um, obviously, because um, I think they had to like keep it fresh. And then for the Jermalone box inside we have the special roses edition. So celebrate Lunar New Year rose inspired scents. And then there's this is Jermalone candle and a Jermalone rose blush colour. Look at how pretty this um, bottle is. I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. And smell it straight away as soon as you open the package. Yeah. You want to basically get the same texture as that cabbage. And I start on this side, and then you're just going to just roll. And this is where you'll see if you haven't sealed your edges properly, they're going to start coming apart. Now, you don't want to roll too tightly, but you want to roll tight enough so it won't unravel. And then at the end, you've secured that with, with water, and that's your rose. That's amazing. Isn't that cute? Judy, you made that look so easy. I know, but I feel like it's easy. And everybody else too. <laughs> I just made rose looking dumplings. How cool do they look? I love them. It's actually really easy to make as well. They look really complex, but I'm really not. Good morning, guys. It's currently half past nine. I'm off to meet um, two of my girlfriends for brunch. We haven't seen each other since forever. We've been planning to meet up for, I would say, over a year. Um, but um, we've all got kids, so it's a little bit hard. And, you know, COVID times has made it even harder. Um, but I just want, really um, quickly wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. Um, I've put my hat on again because my hair isn't cooperating and I just don't want to spend time doing my hair. So I've just put a hat on and then I smoothed out my hair a little bit and put a bit of oil on because it was already straight from yesterday. So I've just got my um, blue Uniqlo t-shirt on. It's such a go-to. And then I have a uh, new look... Um, leggings but they're kind of like leather look wet look leggings and then I have my ASOS boots on yeah that's all my makeup on I've just um, literally just finished getting ready and then I have this old Topshop like casual loose blazer on 
and then I'm just gonna put my Uniqlo puffer jacket on to um, keep warm and then a scarf and a bag but yeah I thought I'd show you my outfit because this is what I'm wearing um, similar to yesterday but I changed my shoes and my tops um, so yeah um, happy Thursday <laughs> Hey guys, so you're probably wondering why I'm all dressed up. Today is a Saturday and twice it's over, right? And let me just come forward. I've just finished getting ready, did my hair, freshly washed and air wrapped. Um, I'm going to go out with the school mums, so basically Ed in school. Um, we have like a group chat and all the boys are really close and we get on. So today we're all going, uh, last week the boys had a kids birthday party, so this week we are um, it was actually meant to happen before Christmas, but because of COVID, it didn't. Um, we're going into Central uh, London for bottomless brunch. So that's why I'm quite casual, but at the same time, like, it's quite dressy for a casual event. I'm wearing this top that I've had for years. I always wear it. It's like a silk cami with a bit of lace. And I find that this top, or these kind of tops, are the perfect kind of like dressy but then not dressy kind of outfit. I have a Topshop blazer on and I have a uh, leather trousers on um, which I've never worn before. Today is the first time I'm wearing them and I don't have time to do my nails like I don't know why I'm always in a rush but I just need to get my hand sanitizer or I just need to get everything together because I've booked a taxi to take me to the train station because I am not going to be driving because I'm going to be drinking um, so I'm just waiting for the taxi to come and then I'll be ready I'm uh, definitely going to wear a coat it's still really cold outside um, so, oh shoes 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 what shoes am I going to wear um, I think I need some hairspray on my hair um, yeah. <laughs> I actually haven't been out drinking for a while. Last weekend my friend came over with a person and they had like a sleep profile uh, and we drank some wine at home but I haven't been like out out into kind of like a bar or some somewhere like um somewhere like drinky kind of vibe. Um I have been for dinners and I've had like drinks at dinners but not like a kind of like you know going out kind of bar thing. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wear a cut, shall I wear? I think I'm going to wear my long black cut. Actually, no. I think I'm going to... Mm, yeah, I'm going to wear my long black cut because that's the most warm. But then it's really big and really annoying to carry. Hmm... Yeah, I think I'm going to wear my big black coat. Um, I'll just put it in the clock room, if anything. I've got my face mask. Oh, I feel like there's so many things to make sure you have. Um, now that we go out during like COVID times, I still want to be careful. Actually, in the UK, you don't really need to wear a mask anymore. But I still want to be careful because um, the last thing I want is uh, COVID for Chinese New Year. So yeah, I'm going to get going now.